Ricardo Terra. So Ricardo Terra is coordinator at the Institute and professor at the University of São Paulo. And we asked the Ricardo Terra just to mention for us what is the experience like at, uh, as an M MPH there at Harvard School of Public Health because sometimes we do not know the opportunities we have when we go abroad. So we, we came back, so what can we do now? We can do residency over there, we can do MPA, we can do other PhD programs. So uh, he had the, the experience, he's from our university, and he went there, he had the program. So thank you, Rika. Well, thank you so much for the invitation. I think that being here is uh, an honor for me because I was a grad, uh, an undergrad student some years ago. My professor is here. And I decided to talk to you, sorry, because I, I was thinking in Portuguese about this presentation, so it could be a little... But uh, I was thinking about telling you my story. It's not a sad story, it's not a superation story, but I think that it shows you why I decided to go to uh, Harvard School of Public Health and maybe... Uh, how it interfered in my uh, view of the world and, and in my knowledge. Well, um, I'm from Sao Paulo. My father is a professor of biochemistry. He's a renowned uh, researcher. He, he does a basic research. And my uncle is a doctor. He is a professor at the pneumology department. And when I finished my uh, high school, I was in doubt if I was going to something related to uh, research because it was very strong for me, this research thing, because of my father, or go to medical school. And then eventually I decided to go to medical school and I learned that I could do uh, research and being a doctor at the same time uh, since I was uh, working in an academic hospital or something like that. And then I, I started. Uh, medical school at University of Sao Paulo in, 19, in 1994 and when I was there I started to do a lot of small projects, scientific projects. I worked like Iniciação Científica, I think that most of you, you, you must have done this. And, and then I, it was a very nice experience because I could work with very different things from pathology to plastic surgery and then I I decided that I I was enjoying doing clinical research that that was at the end of the of my um, medical uh, school and when I finished the medical school I decided that I wasn't exactly like a, a, a basic research guy I, I preferred to work with people and to work with patients and 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 that was my uh, what I, I prefer to do as, as as a researcher when I started the residency at uh, Hospital das Clinicas it was uh, very difficult to do something else you see that it's a very uh, difficult time and you'll be very busy uh, thinking about clinical things and about your residency, night shifts and so on. But when I finished the residency, that, that was a very important moment. Um, I think now, looking back, that it would be a very good moment to, for instance, go abroad. I couldn't do that at that very time because my mother was very sick at that moment. She had multiple sclerosis and, and, and I, I couldn't really go abroad and then I decided to stay at uh, University of Sao Paulo and I was eventually hired as a, a, a medical staff at the thoracic surgery uh, division. And I was very lucky at that moment because uh, we are divided in groups and, and the pleural diseases group was like uh, the, the former professor was gone and nobody was really taking care of it and my boss said it, that I should take care of it and I had the opportunity to even being very young to take care of this group and not only from a clinical perspective but also as a researcher and I started doing my PhD at that moment in pleural diseases. Well, I finished my PhD in 2000, 
eight. But when I finished my PhD, I was working with clinical research, and that was what I decided that I should do. Um, I felt that I wasn't really uh, mastering clinical research from a scientific perspective, even though I had finished my uh, PhD program, and, and then I decided to look for other alternatives, and I was very lucky to learn about a program, a long-distance uh, learning program from Harvard Medical School, and Felipe, probably you know him, um, Felipe was, was the instructor of this program, and then I, I joined this program, and through uh, one year I had the opportunity to learn more about clinical research, and that was very important for me. I, I was more acquainted with the um, design of studies and so on, but I also was uh, learning more about opportunities abroad. And then I noticed that there, talking to other people and learning more about science and, 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 and clinical research, that uh, it's not only the scientific point. You have to learn more about management, about economy, about how to use resources. And then I decided that I should do something else. And talking to some of the faculties that I had the opportunity to meet here in Brazil when they came to uh, part of this program, uh, I learned about the uh, MPH program at Harvard School of Public Health. And I, at the first, I must confess that I was a little um, concerned about it because as a surgeon, I, I thought that you know, uh, public health was something related to, in Portuguese we have the word medicos sanitaristas, I think that was something related to vaccines, and surgeons don't like vaccines, you know. <laughs> yeah. And I learned that it wasn't like that, actually. We, I was going to learn more about epidemiology and biostats and, and even management, ethics, and so on. And then I applied for that. I thought that it would be important for me. At that moment, I was also appointed as the coordinator of the whole um, thoracic surgery division at the Cancer Institute. And so I not only have you know, my clinical research, but I had some uh, appointments as a manager. And, and that's what happens to us when you, when you are in the academic field. You are not only doing research, you have to teach residents students, but you also have to manage things. And that was uh, really frightening at the beginning, and I felt that I should do something else to learn. And, and I think that at HSPH, during uh, my master, I had the opportunity to learn more about clinical research, once again, because I had epidemiology, biostats, uh, but I also had ethics, um, management of healthcare organizations, uh, health economy, um, and many um, uh, decision making. That was a very important course. All of these courses were very important for uh, building um, my knowledge, but also, and probably most importantly, um, <coughs> to allow me to do better the job that I'm doing now and, and as a coordinator and as, as a clinical researcher. And so, I think that one important thing that I've learned there, when I'm a surgeon, I'm taking care of only one patient and the impact of this is important for that one patient, but uh, I, I learned to uh, think big, you know, I, I learned to um, make things that will cause more impact in the society and, and I think that that's, uh, that was really uh, life changing for me and, and that's the HSPH experience I had. And a bonus of this uh, HSPH experience was the opportunity to, to get to know um, the Lemon Foundation. When I was applying for um, HSPH I didn't I, I've never, I, I had never heard about uh, Lemon Foundation, and then I received a, an email saying that ah, you can apply for this, um, uh, for this scholarship, 
I applied and eventually uh, I was awarded this scholarship. And then I learned more about the, um, uh, the foundation. I had the opportunity to participate in several programs here and, and get to know a lot of very uh, skillful people. And, and we are building a network of very uh, interesting people. And that, that was a, a bonus that was very important for me. And I think that if I have something to say to you, I, I think it's very important to, to go abroad, to uh, you know, broaden your perspectives about the world. We have, here in Brazil, we are very close in, in ourselves. I think that's not a very good thing. And when you go abroad, you have the opportunity to learn several other perspectives and, and to learn to think big. I think that's the, the final message. So before uh, Paulo Sajibi starts, uh, could you just uh, give a little bit of uh, this idea of what is the difference between making a P MPH over there and doing a PhD program or a master here? Sure. Is something that people... Sure, that, that's, a, that's a very good question, thank you for that, and the MPH program is something that we don't have here in Brazil, and so um, it, it's a very different um, thing for us.